Okay, so we're on the last final batch of jam for the day. This is batch number five for me. I'm done. I'm ready to put my feet up, but I still have to make dinner. <laughs> anyway, so today we are doing, or in this video anyway, we are doing strawberry chocolate jam. Yes, you heard me right. Strawberry chocolate jam. We start out with the basic strawberry jam recipe. So I'm just mashing these up as they're heating up. Then I'm going to add my quarter cup of lemon juice because we're still following that exact same recipe for strawberry jam. So five cups of berries, seven cups of sugar, a pack of original pectin. I do not know if this will work with low sugar jam. I've never made it low sugar because I don't make low sugar jam. So I can't help you on that one. Sorry. Okay. So while this heats up, I'm going to add, actually, no, I'm not going to add that just yet. I'm going to add a quarter cup since I find it and dry it. <laughs> I'm, order, I'm adding a quarter cup of cocoa powder. We're just going to stir that in as this goes. It smells really good. It smells even better when it's actually fully done. You got sugar in there and all this. Mmm, it's so good. I love this on top of ice cream, in yogurt, <laughs> on toast. <laughs> it's just good all the way around. Okay. Now I'm going to add in that vanilla. Add in between a quarter of a teaspoon and half a teaspoon. So I'm going to add in half a teaspoon. And don't, for, don't, don't forget the vanilla. It doesn't taste right if you don't have that vanilla in there. It doesn't blend it together properly. It took me a couple goes figuring that out. A couple batches of uh, thrown away jams. Okay. And I still don't have the pectin in here yet. Because I'm trying to get the berries kind of mashed up. The pectin will go in next. Once these berry oh my goodness, I don't even have my burner on. I had the kids here talking to me. Goodness, I thought I had my burner on. See, because I have this burner on. So I had feeling the heat coming from that. Goodness gracious, great goodness. Yep, I'm ready to put my feet up. <laughs> Okay, so I'll be right back once this is heated up and I'm actually no, we'll just stay here for a moment because actually I can add the pectin now. So let's put pectin in. And this is the pectin I'm using for anyone who's wondering. This, uh, can you see that? Yep. The Bernardin Original Pectin. That's just what I use, and I just use the recipe cards that are in that come in it. There's plenty of the recipe, so why not? Okay. Oh, this smells so good strawberries and chocolates guys strawberry and chocolate where you can't go wrong with this you cannot go wrong with this okay so I'm gonna switch over to my spoon now And I'm going to get this brought up to a boil, and I'll bring you back once it's there. 
Okay, so now we're all heated up. The pectin is all dissolved. Now we're gonna add in the seven cups of sugar. Just gonna get that stirred in and then get it back up to a boil, get it to a rolling boil. Oh, see, thick, thick, doesn't that just look so good? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Okay, so you got to get that sugar all mixed in and then you got to bring it back up to so now it needs to get to a rolling boil, a boil that you cannot stir down. So I'll be right back when we get there. Okay, I want to add to, I'm still waiting for this to come up to a rolling boil. I just gave mine a taste. This is the point where you want to give it a taste just to make sure you have enough cocoa in there. Um, the vanilla, it should be fine but just depends on what you want. For me, how I have it right now is perfect. Um, it's a strawberry base taste up front and then after notes of the chocolate, which is how I like it. I wanna taste the strawberry first and then the chocolate afterwards as a hidden surprise. So, I'm still waiting for this to come up to a boil. We're almost there. Okay, and we are now at the rolling boil stage. I cannot get that to go away as you can see so now I'm going to time this for one minute stirring the entire time so you don't want to make a, a mess of this all over the place no 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 okay so I'm going to time this for one minute and then I'll meet you when we're drying this up okay so let's get this bowled up and then this way you can yeah you can see like, I got a mess everywhere like I said I've been canning all day okay now just look at that as definitely not your grandma's strawberry jam. Mm -mm. So I'll just bottle up a couple of them here. And no, I don't remove the foam. Sorry, I don't care. It's still jam. It tastes like jam. I'm going to eat it. Okay, you just need to debubble this. Wipe the rim. Because you guys know I'm so organized. I normally am. Just for some reason, not whenever I'm doing these canning videos. I'm just going to get these rims all nicely cleaned up. Now we're going to put a lid on them. Come on. Break apart. There we go. Get a lid on there. Put a ring on it. Then it's going to go into the water bath canner for 10 minutes. Ugh. Gosh darn, that's hot. Okay, and into the canner for 10 minutes. So I'll bring you back when all these are done and out of the canner. Okay, and here it is. Strawberry chocolate jam. And for anyone who's wondering how it will set up with having extra ingredients added to it. Okay, and this is still warm. Remember, that's how it sets up. Just like your everyday strawberry jam. See? And it's still warm. Like, that was a chunk I think I scraped off the side. Okay, there we go. Oop. Gotta eat it. It fell off. There. Just like regular setup. You just gotta be careful with how much stuff you add to it. 
as to if this if it'll set up or not. Oh, Katie, do you want to taste that? Sure. Okay, here we'll have a little taste tester. All right, be my taste tester. Like last time. Oh, she's going. Oh wait, I think you're blurry. Nah, you're not too bad. What do you think? Uh, is it tasty? It pretty much just tastes like strawberry jam. Do you have an aftertaste of chocolate? No, cinnamon. Okay, you're just weird. You're not my child. I'm kind of like apple crisp. Yep, you are definitely not my child. You are your father's. Okay, so we will see you again really soon. Bye.